Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Previously, we have uh, seen about the India's trade potential and export opportunities in spices and in particular with the black pepper, cardamom and turmeric. So in that previous video, we have discussed about the gravity trade model, how the gravity trade model works and how the countries are benefiting through this gravity trade model and everything we have discussed. And in this uh, video, we will be discussing about the SMART model, that is the partial equilibrium model. So SMART model, so this things we have already discussed in the previous video and I've given the link in the description for the previous video, that is the gravity trade model. And today we will be like, yeah, we will be seeing this uh, SMART model. So SMART model is a partial equilibrium model, actually it is a uh, it is similar to that of general equilibrium but it, it takes only one particular aspect so it is a partial equilibrium model it was uh, developed by Anktar and Whale Bank uh, to mainly to measure the trade policies uh, first thing is that each and every country is uh, trading exporting and importing and there are some tariff and non-tariff barriers among the countries so for each uh, commodity there are different uh, tariff rates being uh, imposed by the exporting country as well as the importing country. So what if one country reduces the tariff for the other country? So what is the effect of this kind of uh, trade policies? So to measure those kind of things we are using this smart model which is an, uh, of course a partial equilibrium model. And before analyzing or before going into that, we need to understand some of the basic concepts like trade creation, trade diversion, tariff revenues and consumer surpluses. So uh, without understanding this uh, creation and diversion, we cannot uh, go further. So first thing is that let's take this session, uh, assumption. Uh, say for example, this is a country A's demand and supply curve. If a country is willing to import some quantity of a commodity from other countries, say for example, there are two countries, one is country B and another one is country C. So, uh, uh, say for example, in this case, uh, the uh, uh, C country has the lowest price compared to that of B country. Okay. So, if A country is willing to trade or willing to import some quantity of a commodity, then the country A will be importing from the country C because the price is very less. This is under a free trade situation. Free trade in the sense that there is no tariff or no, not uh, a non-tariff barriers imposed. Suppose if there is an increase in tariff in both the countries, say for example, the price of the uh, commodity increased in country B from PB to PTB, which is nothing but the tariff imposed it. And also similar to that in country C, the price PC has increased to PTC. Okay. So now there is an increase in price in both the countries. What is next? So suppose if the country uh, B agreed to a uh, free trade agreement that is if the country B is trying to reduce the uh, tariff imposed then now the prices of both countries let's say here the country B's price is PB but the country C's price is PTC because uh, C country has not involved in tariff reduction so uh, automatically here what happens is that uh, of course the trade is uh, uh, is done with country B because the price is very less so this is called as trade diversion which is nothing but uh, diverting trade from a more efficient supplier to a less efficient suppl uh, supplier so this is one concept that is trade creation so now we will uh, discuss about the trade diversion sorry trade creation so trade creation in the sense uh, let's take the same example this is country A's demand and supply curve and uh, these are the price of uh, both the countries now what has happened is that due to increase in tariff or due to imposition of uh, tariff uh, the prices has gone up but here it is above the turkey level uh, that is the price of uh, country uh, the country A's level okay so it is very high so now there will not be trade because there will uh, because the price is very high when compared to the domestic suppliers so uh, the trade will not happen so again if any one of the countries having a free trade agreement with the country a then there is a chance of trade creation so let's say here country a and country b are undergoing the free trade agreement or are trying to reduce the tariff rate 
then now the prices of um, commodity in country C is PTC whereas the price in uh, country B is PBB so now what happens is that the price is very uh, comparatively lesser than that of uh, uh, domestic production so now what will happen is that a trade will be created because before that if the price if the tariff price is above the satarchy level no trade will happen so uh, due to reduction of this kind of things or uh, due to reduction of the tariff or uh, due to free trade agreement what had happened is that the price has showed up uh, uh, the price has gone down and now uh, the price is below the autarky line now the trade will create so this is called as trade creation so this is how the countries will be having some advantages and as well as a disadvantages say for example there are different kind of effects uh, revenue effect production effect consumer surplus etc so to estimate these kind of things what we are going to do is i have collected the tariff rates say for example uh, importing country say for example united states of india has 0% tariff on uh, paper uh, germany has 4% tariff and similarly united kingdom has 4% tariff in case of paper uh, similarly in case of turmeric you can see united kingdom and U uae are having 5% of uh, uh, tariff rate and in case of cardamom pakistan and afghanistan are having 3% and 5% of the tariff rates for importing of the commodity now what we are going to do is that we are going to compare uh, or we are going to uh, estimate the results so uh, uh, at the last we will be discussing about how to uh, get the results from the weights but before that we will see the result so here what i have done is if uh, if the tariff has been reduced or if the tariff has been cut uh, what has happened so due to reduction in tariff or cut in tariff of paper uh, the trade creation has happened in case of uh, uh, exporting countries in case of indonesia india brazil similarly uh, the importing country united kingdom in case of united kingdom the exporting country that is indonesia india and united kingdoms there is an increase in trade as well as trade has been created uh, due to either due to reduction in the tariff or either uh, or otherwise due to free trade agreement similar way some amount has been diverted from the same countries here you can see 6.1 thousand us dollars of value or value of commodities has been shifted or has been changed from indonesia to some other country so there was a trade diversion has taken place so when comparing this trade creation and trade diversion of course trade diversion is very high okay so similar way whereas in case of india also it is similar so this is how you can uh, uh, you can uh, uh, get the results so here due to reduction of tariff by the uh, importing country germany there is a loss of uh, 100 and, uh, 112 us dollars so this is the revenue loss for german okay but similarly at the same time consumer surplus is, uh, is increased because there is a reduction in the tariff rate and of course the price will be lesser so there is an increase in consumer surplus due to reduction in price of the commodity so this is how you have to get the results so this is uh, for a card mm and in this case you can see there's a trade creation is very high in case of a uh, uh, card mm uh, the two uh, guatemala has uh, higher uh, trade creation compared to that of india and china as well as in case of uh, afghanistan if the afghanistan is reducing the tariff rate to zero percent uh, this is what happens so there is no trade derivation has uh, happened only the trade creation has happened similarly the revenue loss for the government uh, that is to pakistan if there is a reduction in the tariff so this is uh, this is the end result so now we will be uh, uh, seeing how we can use these uh, wits in uh, wits for getting this results so once you log in to the wits uh, website there will be a uh, tab called tariff and trade simulation in which you can go for a smart model and in the smart model you just give an a uh, uh, name for your model say for example i'm giving i'm giving model model 1 and uh, some description like uh, paper okay so i'm proceeding with this and uh, now we need to select the country for which country we are going to do it so let's take uh, I, i'm just randomly uh, taking say for example i'm taking india and for which year so i'll take 2020 
and in the product you have to choose the product based on the hs cloud uh, classification either or uh, either two digit or four digit or six digit you can choose the product uh, so <coughs> excuse me so it's taking a bit while to load yeah so uh, what i will do is that based on the hs uh, code classification i will uh, i will choose the commodity so now i am going to choose uh, um, spices that to uh, paper i will choose so i am selecting this paper and i am proceeding with this okay so now scenario so now we need to explain the scenario so scenario in the sense that uh, say this is the scenario so now i will give us model 1 scenario and in this model one sorry uh, i'm going to do for uh, paper okay so next what is a partner country or what is a exporting country so we will choose all the countries if you have the data of top five exporters then you can to, uh, choose the top five uh, exporters and you can uh, compare with them so that in that way you can uh, check the results so again it's taking a while yeah so now what i will do is that either i will choose world as a sim, uh, same uh, or as, as a single country or otherwise i can choose all the countries so for uh, time sake i will be choosing world as a single one and here so what is a cut so here is a new rate so if uh, already pepper for pepper it is uh, in india it has been around five percent i think so what what i will do is that i will give us zero so i will i will proceed with oh sorry product formula and again we have to choose it so it is uh, based on the server so if you have the long uh, uh, very good wi-fi or uh, internet facility then you will not be having this much time so uh, sorry it's taking a bit while okay so uh, I think there is some problem with that so I will open the results so that you can see the results so I've already uh, given some um, data so here you see it So this is our data so in this uh, how much trade flow uh, sorry yeah so this is trade value and again we need to we need to download the final results I have chosen for paper paper just trade yes So you will be getting each and every uh, aspect in a uh, separate uh, Excel file. So in this you can see how much trade creation has happened in uh, each and every country. So here you, you can have the country's code and based on the country's code you can uh, uh, you can uh, identify which country it has been and uh, even you can uh, choose a product uh, that is so this is a partner ISO which is nothing but the country's uh, uh, number and based on that you can see the trade creation trade diversion and how much it has uh, created and everything okay and this side you will be having the uh, import uh, export uh, sorry importing countries uh, code so based on the code you can uh, classify the countries and uh, you can get the results so 
this is how this uh, table has been generated i think this is a basic idea of uh, how to get the results from wits and how to interpret this uh, results if you have any doubts uh, please let me know in the comment box and i will be uh, solving it as early as possible and thank you for watching my video thank you